When we're talking about B1 battle droids and upgrades, we have to understand that B1s were never intended to be the leading killing machines of the Separatist droid army. Even by the end of the Clone Wars, B1s were plagued with technical shortcomings when compared to the more advanced battle droid models, such as B2s and droidicas. To say the least, they suffered from inaccuracy, slow reaction times, and an inability to conduct advanced tactics on the battlefield. However, the B1s that were used by the Separatist army in the Clone War were far more advanced than their predecessors, thanks to a number of technological advances that were made during the 10-year period between the Naboo Crisis and the galaxy-wide conflict. In this video expose, I will describe how Clone War era B1 battle droids were upgraded from those that were used by the Trade Federation on the battlefields of Naboo. The B-1 battle droids that were thrust into action by the Trade Federation in the Phantom Menace were pitiful from a military standpoint. However, their initial shortcomings for warfare isn't surprising. Originally, B-1s weren't developed by Bactoid Combat Automata for warfare. Rather, these first models were produced to assist in defending the Trade Federation's cargo ships against pirates and other entities looking to capture their goods. Because these earliest B-1s weren't meant for war, and were really only built to defend ships, they suffered from a number of deficiencies as they were relied upon for their cheapness and not their military capabilities. They weren't accurate, their audio-visual sensors were inferior, they were only moderately armored, and their cognitive modules prevented them from performing any type of advanced strategy. These were the B-1s that were sent into action against the Gungans on Naboo. But most importantly, as would come to be the downfall of the entire B-1 unit sent to Naboo, the cheap and deficient cognitive modules that were programmed into B-1s meant that the Trade Federation was forced to control the entire droid army from a central control computer located above the planet. This would ultimately result in the undoing of the B-1s on Naboo, and even given their other numerous flaws previously mentioned, was probably their greatest weakness. However, the Separatists would ultimately learn from the lessons from the battlefields of Naboo, as their embarrassment from their defeat at the hands of the Gungans drove the Trade Federation to develop a far superior model of the B-1 battle droid. Between the Battle of Naboo and the Clone War, the Trade Federation ordered their B-1s to be retooled and retrofitted with superior cognitive modules that would make them better suited to the requirements of warfare. Most importantly, these new modules allowed B-1s to achieve a greater degree of onboard independent intelligence. This allowed them to operate without a master signal and remove the threat of an entire unit being shut down simply because the controlling computer was destroyed. Although these new cognitive modules weren't the most advanced available to the Separatists, and were still inferior to those developed for B-2 battle droids, they did allow B-1s to be programmed to fulfill military skills more successfully and a wide range of new functions. For example, after the Battle of Naboo, newly retrofitted B-1s would fill the ranks of warships, acting as pilots, security, and gunners within the Separatist Navy throughout the war. These functions would have been impossible for the B-1s that saw action on Naboo, as they were far too advanced and difficult given the inferior cognitive modules that were present within the droids at the time. Further, no longer dependent upon central control ships, B-1s were able to conduct independent thought and tactics on the battlefield. Given the fact that they often served in numbers intended to overwhelm the enemy, this made the B-1s deployed during the Clone War far deadlier than their predecessors. However, it must be remembered that even though the B-1s of the Clone War era were retrofitted with superior cognitive modules and were far dominant to those that were deployed 10 years earlier, they still suffered from a number of shortcomings that left them vulnerable to the unparalleled clone troopers of the Republic. Many of these deficiencies were the result of actions taken by the Separatists themselves. Chief among them was the fact that the Separatists, and more specifically the Nemoidians, 
refuse to spend credits on not only further upgrading their B1s, but also on ensuring they received the necessary maintenance they required. Nonetheless, the B1 battle droids deployed by the Separatists during the Clone War were far deadlier than those deployed during the Naboo Crisis. So there we have it, how Clone War era B1 battle droids were upgraded after the Battle of Naboo. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For superiority...